Hello everyone I hope you must doing well so in this video we are going to learn about the individual origin all right it is over here and also we are going to learn about how we can link a object right for example if we are having this cube and also by shift d let's have this and uh, yeah so by shift d we are having these two objects right and what if you want like uh, any changes you are making on this object right it should be affected to this object also but right now for example if you are going to move this vertex in in the z direction right so in this object it will it will get affected right so how we can do that that uh, all the similar object in whatever we want that object should be also get affected all right so before that let's discuss about the individual origin right so by default uh, we are set to median point okay median point determines at the center right this one okay and we are having different point also but now we are going to discuss about the individual origin all right so let's switch to the sorry yeah so let's switch to the median point for now and let's duplicate this cube okay yes so we are having three cubes in our scene right so let's switch it to random so that we are having different color also the viewport should be black so that we can focus right yeah so we are having three object uh, let's delete these two yeah so we are having three object the same the cube okay and what we want for example So we will select these all three and we'll press tab so that we can go into the edit mode and now by having the edge selected you can select by either from here or you can select by pressing 2 in your keyboard right so by shift I'm going to select all the edges right so what I want to scale it in the Z direction or I want to move all these edges in the Z direction right so for that it is so simple right so you are going to grab the Z axis and you will move that like this right so we are having all these three objects are moving in the same manner right but what if I want all three object should be scaled to its own origin point for example we want for example let's select this one and by having s in your keyboard right i i am scaling this right okay but i am not i don't want to scale all these objects separately right i want to scale by the same function by selected all edit mode and going to select the edge all right so right now we are selected to median point and if you are going to press s in our keyboard and scale it down we are having this thing right but we don't want this thing right it is acting as a median point right on this point or you can say the point where the cursor is right over here okay but we don't want that i want these three objects should be scaled from their own individual origin right so for that what we needed to do we needed to switch the point to the individual origin right so whenever we are switched to individual origin it will pick the each edges as an instance right so for example if now we are going to scale 
right we can see right the every object right it is scaling from its own individual point right that point should be determines as a origin right and if you don't know about the origin and what is origin and uh, where is the origin is there so you can watch the previous video where i discuss about the 3d cursor and the origin right so hope you got how we can use this individual origin right so in many fields or if you are modeling anything it will help you out in many ways right so let's keep it so we can press ctrl z also yeah and delete all those right so uh, the second thing which we are going to discuss we are going to discuss about the link object right as i told before also uh, that how we can make duplicate objects right and if we are making any changes on one object right that one change in one object should be affected to all the other objects too right so for now we can switch to median point right by default it is median point okay so for that what it is there uh, if you are duplicating any object you are uh, simply having shift d right so that we are having a duplicate of this right but if you want that thing you needed to press alt d right by this effect the object will get duplicated as in a same manner the shift d you are pressing for example let's write so we are having this object as a control d right and we are having this object as a shift d they both look similar right this one and this one but the main difference is for example if you are going to in the edit mode and you want this vertex should be moved to the z axis right so you are going to grab the z1 and you can see this this object we are duplicated by alt d right which determines whenever you are duplicating any object by pressing alt d right then those two both objects are linked with each other right so any material or any topology changes you are making on any one object right for now it is this one so that same effect going to be uh, carry forward to the other objects too right so we move the vertex of this point right in a z axis but uh, if you are going to see this object right we don't we didn't have any effect on it why we don't have any effect on it because we did with shift d right so hope you got my point right so let let me tell you once again so alt d right it will duplicate and shift d right it will also duplicate but by pressing alt d you are having a duplicate object with the link all the properties material or the topology or anything even the modifiers also right so any changes you are making right it will get affected right any changes any changes right so this is about today right so we have learned about the individual origin and the link object right by pressing alt d in our keyboard right so uh anything from your side you can tell in the comment section okay like uh, any topic or anything any tool or any option you are not getting that thing right so you can tell in the comment section and i will make a video on it and if you are really liking my videos right you can like or subscribe and you can share to those one who get started with the blender and really want these videos to watch and move forward in the education of the blender 
right and yeah we can end this video and we'll see you soon bye bye